Breaking news. IT happened. Trump just banned them all. Hell yeah. When you have an unapologetic president like Donald Trump, things get done in record time and he does what needs to be done without making excuses for it. He's not concerned who he offends and doesn't feel that he has to answer to anyone but the American people who voted for him. His supporters are really happy to have a leader who makes good on his campaign promises and more importantly, has made America great again already in his first year in office. However, proving that he can't be swayed from his path of progress and isn't going to let anyone try to force him off track he just banned them all in one sudden announcement that's already been met with massive liberal outrage. Trump's rightful despise for certain people has been no secret. He's let the country know their time is limited and now it's just run out after one overstepped his bounds and tried to get in Trump's way. He immediately paid a brutal price for it and so did everyone else like them who get banned in a sudden sweeping move they weren't prepared for. The heated relations between President Trump and the mainstream media have just reached a boiling point in the Oval Office. Accusing him of their favorite claim used against him, earned CNN's top reporter and White House correspondent a boot out the door and an order to not return. There really couldn't be a more embarrassing and enraging action to receive and Acosta earned it. According to Fox News, President Trump kicked CNN star Jim Acosta out of the Oval Office Tuesday after the network's senior White House correspondent badgered him with racially charged questions. Acosta has made a habit of grandstanding and interrupting when Trump and his surrogates are available to the media. Tuesday was no exception, as Acosta yelled, Mr. President, three times before finally getting Trump's attention. Did you say that you want more people to come in from Norway? Did you say that you wanted more people from Norway? Is that true Mr. President?" Acosta frantically shouted. I want them to come in from everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you very much everybody, Trump responded as Acosta continued to bark questions. Just Caucasian or white countries, sir? Or do you want people to come in from other parts of the world? People of color, Acosta shouted. Trump then pointed directly at Acosta and simply said, Ow! A Trump staffer in the background can be heard saying, Jim, thank you, before the CNN star presumably exited the room. Democrats will twist this response to mean something it was not, by saying that Trump can't take the heat and just bullies people out of his office. The fact is, he's the commander-in-chief and he deserves some respect from the press if they want to receive respect and earn. Acosta got what he had coming to him when he accosted Trump with his questions that served no other purpose but to corner him into saying what he wanted to hear that CNN would inevitably slam him for later. Like clockwork, Acosta took his punishment to Twitter to berate the president and use the reaction for exactly what is expected of this liberal reporter. His entire intent was to push a narrative about Trump that's to say he's a mental midget with a rage disorder and acts irrationally in the moment. His immediate follow-up proves it. Acosta then took to Twitter, accusing White House aides of obstructing him from asking questions, Fox News added, with his followers referring to this move as Trump's latest outburst. That is to say this is a frequent issue when in fact it's the liberal reporters like Acosta who have outburst issues. His history in Trump's White House has proved that and it was about time he got kicked out. Fox News explains. Acosta has been among the most outspoken critics of President Trump and is a significant part of CNN Worldwide President Jeff Zucker's apparent anti-Trump programming strategy. Trump has famously dubbed CNN fake news and pointed directly at Acosta and called him by the disparaging moniker in the past. Last December, Acosta was shut down by White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders when the liberal reporter tried to hijack a press briefing. Acosta told Sanders that journalists make honest mistakes but that doesn't make them fake news before attempting a question. Sanders quickly cut him off. When journalists make honest mistakes, they should own up to them. Sometimes, and a lot of times, you don't, 
Sanders said as Acosta tried to interrupt. I'm sorry, I'm not finished, she said. There is a very big difference between making honest mistakes and purposefully misleading the American people. You cannot say it's an honest mistake when you're purposely putting out information you know is false. Acosta has also gotten into combative arguments with other members of the administration including senior policy adviser Stephen Miller. Meanwhile, CNN has been mocked for a variety of anti-Trump segments, such as focusing on the president's soda intake amid unfolding breaking news related to a terror attack in New York City. It's about time that someone puts the mainstream media in place and Trump is the man to do it. He welcomes question and conversation with his opponents but not combative attacks from reporters like this. Acosta needed a time out and got it.